Hello Taurus, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for October 13th to October 19th, 2020. So I just want to say thank you to my viewer, Bobby Oliver, for giving me this lovely display here. I'm still trying to figure out the lighting, but I love the wood product. I love the shine on the wood so much. Um, it's just awesome. So please remember there's no way this can connect to every single Taurus. So take what you can use, leave what you don't need, and don't force it to apply. Hopefully you know your um, birth chart. And let's begin. Feel free to vice versa, one side, your side, you or your partner, or masculine feminine energies. So the first one that comes up for you is Heal Thyself 24. So this talks about you're healing from something. You're healing, it almost seems like it's from family to me. So you decide how that applies to you if it does. And heart healing. So five is change. So I feel like you're moving on from either, you have a broken heart basically. There's something that you feel like slipped through your hands. Some sort of love. And nurture. Wow, Taurus. So I feel like the universe is trying to comfort you. They're trying to make you feel like you're healing properly and you're going to heal. I do feel like there's a lot of family involved in this. I'm not sure why, but I see a lot of family in there. I see somebody that was um, around for a long time. And I see you healing. I do. I, I see you hurting a lot. And you're trying really hard to heal. But you just keep going back and hurting. But you will heal. You will. You'll come out of the darkness. So let me go to the Chakra Wisdom deck now for you. And I shuffle all my decks before I turn the camera on. I just give one more shuffle after I turn it on. So you guys can feel like... They're folded. I mean shuffled. <laughs> so the first one for you is Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is somebody struggling to get to where they are. It wasn't easy. And there's no way this person would back down for anything. So if I put this here, can you see it there? So then for the other side, we have Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups tells me that this person has some karma. And you can't even see that one. Gosh. Okay, so this person has karma. This person has... Uh, warrior like so this is three of cups this would be happiness but it could also mean a third party before they get found out so seven of swords is sneakiness and vindictiveness I feel like the moon could have brought something out so this is not good so far for this person so seven of coins somebody's planning organizing trying to look in their future and plan accordingly Seven of Wands is somebody having opportunities around them, but they're focusing on one certain thing, one certain person, one situation. The Hanged Woman is a delay for this person over here. I feel like this person wants to move forward. They've been planning. They have things they want to do, but the universe feels it's not time for whatever reason. So Two of Wands is somebody making a decision concerning other people. Two of coins could be compromise and flexibility. So the universe might be trying to teach you to be calm and flexible and compromising. So the moon, we have a lot of, we have two moons in here so far on this side and we have the sun. So the moon is yin and yang to me. It means something is coming out to the open. The devil, wow, this could be Capricorn placement Taurus. But this is somebody being toxic in a relationship or somebody offering love and the other person offering nothing. They didn't even open up about their true self, I feel. So the magician could be a couple things. This could be somebody playing, just playing with your mind, just tricking you. Or it could mean you have everything you need to manifest the life you want. Either or, or both even. Ace of Coins is success over coins. Taurus, good for you. Eight of Swords is this person self-sabotaging over here. This person is going inside their head. 
I feel like you're doing good over here and they don't like it and they're having a really hard time Taurus so then you have six of coins so you again are doing really really well over here the universe feels like you deserve all the coins and the good things coming to you so king of cups is my codependent king this is a king who can do whatever he wants but you have to stay disciplined and stay inside his spires of his chair and his cup so five of wands is people talking and gossiping about you Taurus princess of swords is somebody spying on you somebody that could be jealous Taurus this person over here the lovers this could be Gemini placement around you so is that why everyone's talking about you so four of swords is that this person is overthinking there are they have a lot going on. They're vindictive, they're planning, they're trying to get you back, but they're hurting themselves and you in the process, and they just don't get it. They need to take a step back. They're too worked up. I feel a lot of anxiety for this person over there. It's just wow. So let me switch to the Tarot Illuminati now and see if we can pull any double cards. So yeah, you're healing from a broken heart. You're going to heal. And it looks like somebody who's passed comes down and helps you. Or gives you little signals to try and make you happy. So the first one is the world. Beautiful. So this is your life changing. Taurus. So the alchemist. Again, this is a magician. You've had it twice. So I don't know if that person over there, Taurus, is trying to manifest to bring you closer to them. So Ten of Swords, I feel like, I can't remember which one I pulled, somebody's dead. A Ten of Swords means it's an ending. Somebody doesn't want to try anymore or they just hurt too bad. So Ace of Cups, somebody's being offered love and peace and comfort. So Queen of Swords is guarded. She doesn't, She's having a hard time because somebody wasn't too nice to her before, so she doesn't know if she wants to accept it now. I feel like she's kind of blocking it. I see new beginnings, though. I see love. I see travel. I possibly see moving to a new place, too. So Prince of Wands is a player coming in. Prince of Cups is somebody coming in to offer an apology. So I don't know if the player goes out and plays and then he comes back in wanting to offer an apology and come back again. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very independent, very single, very stable, very holds herself in high regard. She won't settle for less than. So Eight of Wands, somebody wants to communicate. Strength. This is Leo placement, infinity. Three of Pentacles. This is growth and promotion. It could be a coworker. So I am going to pull the past, present, future of this relationship with what we pulled right there. Obviously, there's heartbreak. Let's see what comes up. So the past of this relationship or situation was trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So somebody's healing. There was a trust issue and somebody is healing from it. The next one for you, the present situation is abundance. I am a, nephro, a, limitless being, a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So I feel like you have a lot of passion and... You're true. You can manifest what you want. And then empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. And this talks about healing. So you see the dark healing, the abundance, and the light healing. That's nice. So now let me pull two angel or whispers of the ocean cards for you, Taurus. So the first one, or Whispers of the Ocean, is 18, Clearing the Excess. You are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it be in your physical body or your physical space. 
And the next one is in the light of the moon. So you've had a couple things show the moon. So something's going on, I feel like, around the moon. Or there's Pisces around you. That's what that could mean as well, because Pisces represent the moon. So, and the moon always sheds light on things. The moon, the moon brings out stuff that's hidden. Alright, so now let me go to Angel and Ancestor cards. And the first one is... Lord, take charge with authority. This is that you're protected. And they're guiding you. You're transforming. Beautiful. Very nice. So you're transforming. You're protected. And then warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Lord and warrior. So you believe in your convictions. You believe in the hard times you've went through to get to where you are. And nobody could change your mind on that. And if anyone try and does or say it's changed or it's not like that or something, you're going to stand up for yourself and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not even go there. So if somebody does that, I feel like they're just saying you can defuse the situation with your self-discipline behavior, basically. So I hope this connects with you, Taurus. This was a pretty powerful reading. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Taurus.